Kirby cake. I'm not entirely sure what a Kirby is, but I know that it's a Nintendo game, and I've seen a picture of it, and I know that um, a special 10-year-old really loves the game, so I'm going to make her a birthday cake. Um, I've already prepared the cakes. I've got two 9-inch rounds, um, some smaller rounds, and then a couple of um, square ones. Um, these would be square like you might make uh, cornbread in them. And then I already have made my crusting um, buttercream frosting. And then I'm going to put it onto a, a, a cake round. And then I'm going to go ahead and start assembling them. And you'll see that the cake that I've made is a purple and white zebra stripe. I'm starting to prepare the cake now. You can see that I've leveled off the cakes and I'm going to start layering them. And I'm starting with the arms and I've taken the smaller squares and I've just cut them in half so that I can stack them and then um, place them on and I'm going to shape it for the right shape. But there you can see that's what I'm going to do with the arms and I'll be doing the same thing with the squares um, so that I can get legs. I've got the arms done and carved. I guess you can't see very well because of the shadow. There you go. Um, you can see I just took the squares and I rounded them off and I attached them to the side of the body. Now I'm going to move on to the legs. Here I've done the same with the legs. I just took the small rounds and I cut them in half and I've stacked them. I've finished with all the carving and you, you can see now that there's some arms and the legs and since I leveled off the rounds I used the top of the other round and put it back on so that it would be uh, a bit three-dimensional. Let me see if I can show you that. Now you can see that it's, uh, it's three-dimensional and I'm going to go ahead and finish up and put a crumb coat on it and then I'll put it into the refrigerator to stiffen up before I put some more on. I'm done tinting the buttercream for the body of Kirby. Kirby is a light pinkish color, so I just use a Wilton Red No Color, No Taste, um, and I made pink. And then I I left a little bit of white out because his um, his eyes are white and blue and black. So I'm just going to keep um, tinting darker because his legs are a little bit darker and his smile and he's got some dimples on his cheek. He's got rosy cheeks, so I'm going to start off with a lighter pink and then keep going darker. I'm done frosting the cake, and as you can see, the legs are a different color than the body and the arms, and I'm about to put the decoration on. And here is the finished product, the Kirby cake. Thanks for watching.